he's come pretty close. She was part of a team that successfully recorded part of the initiation ceremony that takes place in the tomb's courtyard. Okay, you have the doorway here. Yeah. Okay, then to the right you have a hedge, and yeah. then you have um, an evergreen tree. If you follow yeah. that line straight back, the courtyard's in there. Ah, okay. So, so that's where they have the ceremonies in the, the outdoor place. part of it. Part of it was indoor, so we only got to see the outdoor part. Right. We only got to and, and to listen to the outdoor part. God only knows what went on indoors. And what did you hear? What What was it? You know, you managed to get this unique. Oh, it was disgusting. It. it was gross. I mean, they were pretending to murder people. And what was the tone of it, though? Was it Was it jokey vicious. or was it quite? No, it wasn't jokey at all. It was It was sick. It's about the only thing to describe it. It was sick. What you're hearing is the first recording ever made of the Skull and Bones initiation ceremony. It has never been broadcast before. Fifteen new members of the club are being introduced into the macabre rituals of Skull and Bones by the senior students who are about to graduate. The club has what some might see as a strange fascination with death, skulls and bones. There's the chance too, difficult to hear first of all, but including the devil equals death and death equals death. These rituals have been honed over centuries, giving the society a weird set of traditions, rules and secrets. For example, Initiates are known as neophytes. Outsiders are called barbarians, and the number 322 is sacred. Alexandra Robbins is a Yale graduate who's written one of the few books to investigate the society, The Secrets of the Tomb. According to Skull and Bones legend, in...